everybody. Welcome to Studio 64. My name is David. I've been searching the interzones for some more science, space, and tech news to share with you. Came across this at Mashable. This should be entertaining. Spacecraft travels to metal object orbiting the Earth and snaps stunning views. We're watching you from every angle. Ooh. Sounds like Mark Zuckerberg looking through your bathroom window to make sure you're not violating community standards. Fascinating. Yes. A view of the large rocket debris captured by Astroscale Address J spacecraft. Yes. A space reconnaissance mission has returned unprecedented imagery of a metal hunk zooming around the Earth. That's not a metal hunk. Is that sort of some incredibly ripped alien android or something? <laughs> You're an idiot, David. Seriously. Um, as usual, I'll leave the link to the main article below the uh, video so you can pop in, check out these embedded links. Makes for a very interesting read, believe me, if you want to go beyond the main article. Yes, the uh, discarded three-ton rocket, a robust piece of space junk, some 36 feet or 11 metres long, is the type of problematic debris agencies seek to remove from our planet's orbit. A future collision could spawn thousands more objects, posing threats to satellites and potentially the International Space Station. Now, the Japanese satellite uh, technology company Astroscale plans to remove this spent rocket stage, but it is further gathering more information on the rocket's condition and motion. Interesting. Japanese technology company Astroscale. Yeah, I wonder, this is uh, this is incredible. I think the fact they're doing it, trying to, you know, help with space junk removal is great, you know? I wonder if garbage men, <laughs> when they first started, got the same, the same headlines and accolades. Reminds me of that 1980... Um, sci-fi comedy by the name of was it called quark <laughs> intergalactic garbage men fascinating stuff Astroscale used its Address J um, spacecraft to carefully approach the metallic debris, coming within some 164 feet or 50 meters and capturing the detailed footage below. Hey, space debris, we're watching you from every angle, the company posted online. Uh, Address uh, J has completed not one, but two fly arounds of the upper stage, confirming the planned capture point has no major damage. This milestone sets the stage for future removal and a sustainable space environment. Yeah, so it's intergalactic garbage removal, basically. And that's fine. I think that's fantastic. You know, um, clear all that uh, debris out, for particularly for our satellites and things like that. You know, that you know, you don't want to cause hazards for future space missions. Now, operating in such close orbitable proximity to other objects is daunting. Many objects in Earth's lower orbit travel at some 7 to 8 kilometers per second, 15,660 to 70, uh, 17,895 miles per hour. The company first attempted a flyby in June, but an anomaly prompted the satellite to abort. Hmm, what sort of anomaly? Hmm. Well, they forgot to pack the sandwiches, or was it aliens? Yeah, interesting. Address J uh, safely maneuvered away from the upper stage as designed, demonstrating the effectiveness of its onboard collision avoidance system in safely approaching a non-operative object, Astroscale said in a statement. Interesting. Uh, but as the imagery below shows, the next flybys on July 15 and 16 were successful. Views of the uh, very large-scale rocket debris orbiting Earth. There we go. And there we are. Astroscale succeeded in the fly-around observation. Uh, Japanese Space Agency 
Oh, cool. What's this? Ah. Awesome stuff. Ooh, caffeination while I'm here. Mm. That's cool. The fact that we can go in and do this now, this is just, or about to be able to do this now, is absolutely awesome. Oh, we can go and get rid of all this extra, you know, this bit of space junk. <laughs> Take it in and catch it in at the bottle at the at the old glass shop and get five cents a kilo for it or something. <laughs> the metal shop or whatever it is. Fascinating. Well, that was interesting. I, I find that quite amazing. You know, it's stunning what we can actually do now, and I think it is very important we do this. I've done a number of videos on the amount of space junk which is accumulated around Earth, which is, you know, it, it's just phenomenal. Yes, the greatest space debris removal mission is part of the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA's, which is um, NASA's counterpart, um, commercial removal of debris demonstration project, which seeks a proven way to remove problematic space junk from Earth's orbit. Now, we selected this target because it is a large piece of space debris, and there are many similarly shaped cylindrical pieces on the space debris list. Yamamoto Toru, who leads Japan's commercial removal mission, said in a statement, If we are successful, we expect to be able to apply these techniques to the removal of similarly shaped space debris. Now, with the rec reconnaissance mission now complete, AstroScale will attempt to capture the debris using a spacecraft currently under construction with a robotic arm and bring the rocket stage down to a lower orbit. Eventually, it will largely burn up into Earth's atmosphere. In the future, the hope among spacefaring nations and commercial space interests is to keep low Earth orbit, LEO, largely clear of threatening space debris, especially inert craft that can't maneuver on their own. Now, LEO is an orbital space junkyard, NASA explains. There are millions of pieces of space junk flying in LEO. Most orbital debris comprises human-generated objects, such as pieces of spacecraft, tiny flecks of paint from a spacecraft, parts of rockets, satellites that are no longer working, or explosions of objects in orbit flying around in space at high speed. Very interesting. Good old Mark Kaufman. Very good story, Mark. Thank you for that. That's interesting. I hope the astronauts don't litter in space. I mean, that's enough litter as it is. They don't, you know, throw their bloody chocolate bar wrappers out the window, do they? You know, a couple of beer cans. <laughs> Blast them out the airlock. I hope they don't do that. That'll be a bit rude. Yes, but um, that's excellent. The fact that we can now, you know, we're now working towards getting this space junk poked into a low Earth orbit so it'll burn up. Absolutely fascinating. Any aerospace engineers out there, any space scientist type people, because I'm not a scientist myself, love to hear your thoughts on this. This would be absolutely incredible. Love to hear from you. All right, well, my name is David. Thanks for joining me for another Studio 64 Science, Space and Tech News update. I shall see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. If you're up for it, drop a comment down below the video because I'd love to hear what you think. All right, take care. And as I always say, if you can't be good, be good at it. And as I also always say, fascinating. <laughs>